geography. What is it for? Geography helps us explore and understand our world in a particular way. Geography is much more than just knowing where people and places are located on a map. Take the Olympics, for example. We might investigate the location of participating countries and research their notable characteristics. But unless we consider the stories of these people and places, we won't gain a deep understanding of what life is like in these countries and their place in the world. We need to question, why do some countries have just a few competitors? Why do some excel at particular sports while others do not? Geography allows us to see the interconnections between people and places and use that understanding to inform our decisions for the future. So what is geography for? What drives geographers to be inquisitive about our world? Is it a desire to locate the amazing places of the world? Or is it this and more? As well as taking an interest in the world, Thinking geographically develops an understanding that people and places don't exist in isolation, but are interconnected. In geography, these interconnections are explored and considered in spatial terms. Geography uses a range of modern technological tools to identify and explore the spaces of the world. Geographers are not only interested in where places are and their interconnections, but also exploring the meaning of a place to people and its importance to their identity. When we look at the Australian curriculum for geography, we see that there are two interwoven strands, geographical knowledge and understandings and geographical inquiry and skills. Students view and analyse the world through the lens of the seven geographical concepts, place, space, interconnection, sustainability, environment, scale and change. To develop geographical thinking, both the content strands and the concepts need to be considered. So with this in mind, let's think about a student in a South Australian school. Let's call her Cara. How might Cara's teacher interweave the two strands of geography so that Cara thinks geographically? We want Cara to know where places are on a map, to explore the nature of places, to understand why places are where they are, to analyse the impact places have on people and people have on places. When Cara hears that the sand dunes adjacent to her school have been identified by the Transport Department as a future park and ride location, we want her teacher to engage Cara to think geographically and empower her to influence the future of her world. As well as mapping the location, we want Cara to use this proposed change as an opportunity to develop her own response using her geographical knowledge, skills and thinking. We want Cara to collect, represent and analyse data through the eyes of a geographer to develop her views on all possible options and actions for the future of these sand dunes. We want Cara to develop her capacity to be an active and informed citizen in her community and beyond by thinking geographically. By interweaving the key geographical concepts with the two strands, we can see that geographical thinking is so much more than places on a map.